Hey, coin enthusiasts. Ever thought a simple Washington quarter could be worth over a million dollars? Well, today we're diving into one such coin, the 1951 Nomint Mark Washington Quarter, which has shocked collectors with its sky-high market value of a whopping $1.2 million. Let's uncover the details behind this incredible value. First, let's look back at 1951. This coin came from the Philadelphia Mint, meaning it has no mint mark. The U.S. was in a post-World War II boom, and these quarters were struck in 90% silver, making them both valuable for their metal and historical significance. While millions were made, only a select few have the unique qualities that make them worth big money. So, what makes a 1951 quarter reach $1.2 million? It's all about rarity, condition, and some unique features. Pristine quarters graded MS67 or higher are extremely rare, and sometimes certain error coins or double die strikes can push values even further. Add in high silver content, and you've got a coin that's both collectible and valuable. For collectors, condition is everything. If you've got a 1951 quarter in near-perfect condition, or with any visible mint errors, it's worth getting professionally graded. The top-rated 1951 quarters, like the one valued at $1.2 million, are in almost untouched condition. Grading by top companies like PCGS or NGC can verify its quality and rarity, both of which are essential for that high market value. Wondering where you might find one? Rare coins like this show up in collections, estate sales, and even at local coin shops. Sometimes, an overlooked coin in your own pocket change could be worth a fortune. Always keep an eye out, and remember to handle valuable coins with care to preserve their condition. So, there you have it, the story behind the 1951 Nomint Mark Washington Quarter worth $1.2 million. A piece of history with life-changing value. If you're as excited about rare coins as we are, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on other valuable coins hiding in plain sight. Hey, coin collectors and treasure hunters. Welcome back to your channel name. Today, we're diving into the mystery surrounding the 1991 D Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. If you've heard stories of this coin being worth as much as $1.3 million, you're not alone. But how much truth is there to these rumors? Let's get to the bottom of it. So, let's start with the basics. The 1991 D Washington Quarter is a pretty common coin in terms of mintage. The U.S. Mint in Denver produced millions of these quarters, which means that they're usually easy to find in circulation. But not every 1991 D quarter is just pocket change. Sometimes, certain errors or unique characteristics can send a coin's value sky high. What could make a regular quarter like this worth up to $1.3 million? Well, when it comes to coins, condition and rarity are everything. For a quarter to reach such astronomical value, it would need to be in pristine, mint condition, meaning no scratches, signs of wear, or damage. It would likely need to be graded as an MS-68 or higher by a professional grading service. High grades like MS-68 or MS-69 are extremely rare, especially with circulated coins. But even then, $1.3 million is far from typical. The highest prices are often the result of unique mint errors like double dies, off-center strikes, or misprinted mint marks. Unfortunately, there's no widely known mint error for the 1991 D quarter that would make it worth millions on its own. But keep an eye out, because sometimes new error varieties are discovered. For now, though, you can expect most high-grade 1991 D quarters to sell for around $10 to $50, or even a few hundred dollars if it's in superb condition. So, while the $1.3 million figure may be more of a myth than a market reality, high-quality coins still hold a solid value in collector circles. A coin in M's 68 might bring in around $1,000, but nothing close to a million. Yet, we're diving into one of the most intriguing coins of the 20th century, the rare and elusive 1968 S Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin, valued at an astonishing $1.4 million. Stick around to find out what makes this coin so valuable and how it became a legend in the coin collecting world. To understand why this quarter is so special, let's look at its background. 
the S mint mark indicates it was struck at the San Francisco mint. While many quarters minted in 1968 were intended for circulation, only a select few were produced as proofs, special coins with a mirror-like finish, intended for collectors. Now, why the million-dollar price tag? Here's the secret. While millions of 1968 S quarters were made, only a handful display an extremely rare die variety, possibly due to a minting error or unique features in the coin's design or condition. Collectors seek these varieties for their rarity and pristine quality. So, how can you identify a potential million-dollar 1968 S quarter? Look for ultra-high-grade examples with flawless details and reflectivity. Condition is key coins that have been carefully preserved or are nearly untouched can be worth a fortune. Also, certain specific characteristics, such as a proof finish or unique errors, can add immense value. Recently, coins like the 1968S have gained massive interest among collectors, pushing values to new highs. At auction, one pristine 1968 S quarter fetched up to $1.4 million. This record-breaking sale has caught the attention of both seasoned collectors and newcomers, hoping to find hidden treasures in their own collections. To maximize the potential of your 1968 S quarter, ensure it's authenticated and graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. This way, you'll have proof of its value and quality. Even if you don't have a million-dollar quarter, 1968, S-proof coins in good condition still hold impressive value in the collector's market. Who would have thought a quarter could be worth a life-changing amount? Check your collection carefully. You never know what hidden treasures might be waiting. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin insights. We're talking about an astonishing discovery that might just blow your mind. A 2016 Washington quarter with no mint mark that's worth Wait for it. $1.3 million. Yes, you heard that right. So, how does an ordinary looking 2016 Washington quarter, missing that tiny mint mark, become worth a fortune? Well, it's all thanks to an incredibly rare minting error that has turned this particular coin into a collector's dream. What's the deal with the missing mint mark? Mint marks are tiny letters on coins showing where they were made. Usually, 2016 quarters have either a D for Denver or a P for Philadelphia, but this rare version lacks any mint mark, making it an unusual find. Errors like these happen because of mistakes during the minting process, and when collectors spot them, they're willing to pay big bucks. Rarity is everything in the coin collecting world. In the case of this 2016 quarter, Experts estimate that very few of these no mint mark coins slipped through quality control and made it into circulation. This scarcity is what drives the price so high. Now let's talk dollars. While most quarters are worth only 25 cents, this 2016 no mint mark quarter has been valued at an unbelievable dollar 1.3 million. Why so much? It's the perfect storm of rarity, demand, and pure collector passion. Coin auctions have gone wild over pieces like this, and a winning bid could easily cross that $1.3 million mark. Wondering if you have one of these treasures? Here's what to do. Check your 2016 quarters for any missing mint marks. Look carefully at the bottom of George Washington's portrait, where the mint mark should be. If it's blank, you might be holding a jackpot. And that's it for today's deep dive. If you're a coin collector or just love a good treasure hunt, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and join us for more hidden gems in pocket change. Who knows? Your next quarter could be worth a million bucks. We're talking about the 1978 No Mint Mark Washington quarter that sparked major interest. And yes, some versions of this coin could be worth up to $1.3 million. Let's dive in and find out why. First, let's cover the basics. The 1978 Washington quarter was minted in Philadelphia which is why you won't see a mint mark on it. In total, over half a billion of these coins were struck. But here's the kicker. Not every 1978 quarter is created equal. Most quarters from 1978 won't fetch more than face value, but some exceptionally rare versions can reach astronomical prices, even into the millions. The key factors that set these coins apart are condition, errors, and grading. 
If you find a pristine 1978 quarter with unique characteristics like a high grade or a minting error, that's where the value skyrockets. Let's talk grading. Coins are evaluated on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being nearly perfect. A 1978 quarter in top notch, MS68 or MS69 condition could be one of a kind. That's what creates the million dollar potential for this coin. A collector willing to pay a premium for a rare, Museum quality example is what drives these high prices. Another way a 1978 quarter might reach incredible values is if it has unique errors or anomalies. Look for features like double dies, off-centering, or other unusual traits. Errors make these coins much rarer, and when paired with high grading, they're highly sought after by collectors. So, do you have a 1978 no-mint mark quarter? Check its condition, get it graded, and look out for those rare error signs. Even if it's not worth millions, a high-grade 1978 quarter can still be quite valuable. And who knows? You might just be holding on to a hidden treasure. We're diving into a surprising topic, the 2020 D-Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. It's a coin you may have in your pocket right now, but did you know some are rumored to be worth up to $1.2 million? The 2020 D-Quarter was minted at the Denver Mint and comes with a special story. The D on the coin indicates it's from Denver, and this quarter is part of the America the Beautiful series, which includes different designs representing various U.S. national parks. But there's more to it than just a pretty face. Certain 2020 quarters have attracted collectors willing to pay huge amounts. So, why is this coin potentially worth $1.2 million? Rare, error coins are usually the main reason for such high values. These errors could include misstrikes double dies, and off-center designs. Certain 2020 D quarters with rare mistakes were found in pristine condition, elevating their value exponentially. For example, some coins might have unique features like doubled text, slight design shifts, or even dramatic minting errors that make them one of a kind. It's these high-quality, error-free coins that draw the eyes of collectors and investors. A coin graded with high MS or mint state ratings, especially MS, 67 or higher, can be highly coveted. Even without errors, a perfect coin from 2020 could fetch thousands or more in the right auction. Now, if you have a 2020 D quarter, it's time to inspect it closely. Check for any unusual characteristics and the coin's overall condition. Submitting it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC is essential if it looks pristine. A verified, highly graded 2020 D quarter could bring in substantial offers from collectors. Most 2020 D quarters in average circulated condition are worth face value. But if yours is graded in mint state and shows rare features, its value skyrockets. While only a few may fetch a million dollar price tag, a well-preserved, unique 2020 D can bring you significant profit. So, could you have a million dollar quarter? It's possible but rare. Keep your eyes open for unusual features and consider having your coin professionally graded. And, as always, keep exploring your pocket change. Sometimes, treasures are hiding in plain sight. Can you believe that a single 1979 D. Lincoln penny could be worth up to $1.3 million? Yes, you heard that right. A penny that many people overlook might just make you a millionaire. Let's dive in and explore what makes this coin so special what to look for, and how you can find one yourself. First, let's talk about what makes the 1979 D. Lincoln penny unique. Produced at the Denver Mint, this penny bears the D. Mint mark just below the date. In 1979, hundreds of millions of these coins were struck, so it's a common penny. But not all of them are worth a fortune, only a select few. So, what could make a common 1979 D. Lincoln penny skyrocket in value to $1.3 million? There are a few key factors collectors are on the lookout for, especially rare errors and unique conditions. The most valuable 1979 D. pennies have very rare minting errors. Known errors include double die strikes, where the coin design appears slightly doubled, and off-center strikes. If your penny has an error like this, it could be worth serious money. The next thing that makes a 1979 D penny valuable is its condition. If it's in mint state condition, meaning it looks almost like it was minted yesterday without any scratches, marks, or wear, 
it could fetch thousands or even a million dollars if it's a rare error coin. This is an insider tip. Copper pennies come in two main colors, red and brown. Red pennies are the most desirable because they have retained their original color. If you have a 1979D penny with an original red shine and an error, that's a collector's dream come true. Now, you might wonder if a 1979D penny has actually sold for over a million dollars. Here's the truth. Some rare Lincoln pennies have indeed fetched these sky-high prices at auctions due to their rarity, errors, and condition. While finding a 1979D worth exactly $1.3 million is rare, coins from similar years have hit these numbers, showing just how valuable an ordinary penny can become. So, you're probably itching to dig through your coin jar by now. But before you do, let me share a quick guide to help you identify if you have a valuable 1979D penny. Ensure you're checking a 1979 penny with the D mark, which is right under the date. Grab a magnifying glass and inspect closely for doubling on Lincoln's face, any unusual marks or misalignments. If it's still red and in near-perfect condition, you could have a valuable penny on your hands. Think you've got a winner? The next step is getting it appraised. Take it to a reputable coin dealer or consider getting it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. A certified, graded coin holds far more value and authenticity for serious collectors. Who knew a simple 1979D Lincoln penny could be worth so much? While finding one that sells for $1.3 million is rare, it's worth checking your change. After all, treasure is often found in the most unexpected places. So what are you waiting for? Go check those piggy banks, and who knows? You might just have a small fortune waiting for you. We're diving into a story that seems almost unbelievable. Imagine this. A 2005 Lincoln penny, no mint mark, valued at an astonishing $1.2 million. Yes, you heard that right. Could one of these humble pennies be hiding in your pocket or coin jar, just waiting to be discovered? Before we get into the specifics of what makes this penny so valuable, let's look at a bit of background. In 2005, the Lincoln penny was struck at two U.S. mints, Philadelphia, which doesn't use a mint mark, and Denver, which does. Most 2005 pennies are worth, well, one cent. But certain rare errors, conditions, and unique characteristics can change everything. Condition and grade play a major role in the value of any coin. Pennies that look flawless, meaning they're in mint state condition, can already be worth more than face value. But when a 2005 penny with no mint mark is in superb condition or has an error, its rarity skyrockets. So, what's the story with this supposed $1.2 million penny? In rare cases, coins can have errors that make them true one-of-a-kind pieces. Some errors that have shown up on Lincoln pennies include double strikes, off-center images, and even misalignment of the design. But in 2005, it's rumored that a few coins had dramatic doubling on Lincoln's portrait and unique flaws, making these pennies nearly priceless. Now, imagine a 2005 no-mint mark penny with a unique error like this or even better, a brand new error previously unknown. Because there's no official record, the right combination of rarity, unique error, and mint state could, theoretically, make such a penny worth $1.2 million. Look for doubling on Lincoln's face or letters. Any 2005 penny that's in near-perfect, uncirculated condition has a much higher value. Other errors, like off-centering or cracks, could also boost the value. All right, coin enthusiasts, if you're as fascinated as I am, it might be time to start checking those 2005 pennies in your collection or at the bottom of your piggy bank. Rare finds do happen. And with patience and a little bit of luck, you just might discover a true treasure hiding in plain sight. Could a simple quarter sitting in your pocket be worth $1.1 million? That's the question on every collector's mind when it comes to the elusive 1973D mint Mark Washington quarter. Welcome back, coin hunters and collectors. Today, we're diving into why this little piece of change could be worth a fortune and how you can find out if you have one in your collection. The 1973D Washington Quarter might look ordinary, but it has a unique place in U.S. coin history. These coins were minted in Denver, hence the D-mint mark under Washington's neck. 
But here's the catch. Certain rare features and minting errors make this coin one that collectors are willing to pay an unbelievable price for. Some 1973 decorders have gained value due to rare mint errors or unique features. Examples include double dies, specific striking inconsistencies, or die cracks. If these factors are combined with high-grade quality, meaning minimal scratches or wear, the coin's value skyrockets. Coins graded as mint state, MS, 65 or higher can reach jaw-dropping prices because they're incredibly rare in this condition. Coins with unique errors or near-perfect condition have been auctioned for tens of thousands of dollars, but a legendary few have crossed into million-dollar territory. There's a rumor circulating about a 1973 D quarter that was valued at $1.1 million. While it's likely an exceptional case, probably featuring a one-of-a-kind mint error and pristine condition, this story adds to the mystique of the 1973 D quarter. Such stories excite collectors and drive interest in coins like these, but it's important to remember that values vary widely based on condition, rarity, and demand. So, how can you find out if your 1973 D quarter is worth more than face value? Start by checking its condition. If it appears almost brand new or has no major scratches, you might have a higher grade coin. Look for any unique features or doubling on the date or lettering, which could indicate an error. Consider getting it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. They'll assess its grade, verify any errors, and help you determine its true market value. Even if it doesn't reach a million, a high-grade 1973 decorder could still be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. The 1973 decorder might just be another piece of change in your pocket. But who knows? It could be a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more coin collecting insights, and comment below if you think you have a rare coin. Keep your eyes open and happy hunting. Did you know there's a quarter that could be worth a life-changing amount? Yes, we're talking about the 1952S Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar coin. A coin so rare and valuable that collectors are eyeing it with prices soaring up to $1.5 million. This quarter, produced at the San Francisco Mint in 1952, holds a fascinating story in both rarity and value. Let's break down what makes this coin such a treasure in the numismatic world and what conditions could make it worth that astounding $1.5 million. First minted in the early 50s, the 1952S quarter dollar saw a relatively low production number. That S mint mark tells us it was created at the San Francisco Mint, where coins were typically made in smaller quantities, adding to their collectability today. But the key factor to hitting that million-dollar mark is its condition. A 1952S quarter dollar in mint state, think MS-66, MS-67, or higher, is so rare that it captures collectors' interest worldwide. When coins of this age and mint reach top condition, their market value skyrockets. If you're lucky enough to have a 1952S quarter, check for any signs of wear. Coins with sharp details, minimal scratches, and original mint luster are most sought after. For top value, professional grading can make all the difference, showing your coin's genuine rarity and condition. In recent years, similar high-grade quarters have sold for hundreds of thousands, even nearing that $1.5 million price for top quality graded pieces. The market for rare coins is incredibly competitive, and high bidders know the worth of a pristine 1952S quarter. So, is it time to check your coin collection? Or are you thinking about adding this rare beauty to your investment portfolio? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more incredible coin facts. Who knows? Your next quarter could be a million-dollar treasure. Welcome back, coin collectors, and treasure hunters. Today, we're diving into an intriguing piece of American currency, the 1992 D Mint Mark Washington Quarter, a coin that might look ordinary at first glance, but could actually be worth up to a jaw-dropping $1.6 million. Yes, you heard that right. Let's talk about why this 1992 Denver Minted Quarter has collectors across the country searching their pocket change. Typically, 1992 quarters are worth only their face value unless they're in pristine condition or have a unique error or variation. But there's one specific type that's caught everyone's attention, 
the high value in this quarter lies in a very rare error, known as the type 2 reverse. In a nutshell, these quarters feature the reverse or back design intended for proof coins, meaning they accidentally made it onto circulating quarters. The distinguishing feature, a sharper, bolder font and design detail on the back. To spot one of these ultra-rare coins, you'll need to look closely at the detail on the reverse. If you think you've found one, it's worth getting it authenticated by a professional coin grader. So what's the actual market value? For quarters in typical circulated condition, expect a few cents over face value. However, if you find a 1992D quarter with this proof design reverse in excellent condition, you could be looking at serious money. With one of these rare coins valued as high as $1.6 million at top auction sales. So, the next time you get a quarter in your change, take a close look. It just might be the key to a small fortune. If you enjoyed today's deep dive into rare coins, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos on valuable treasures hiding in plain sight. Could a simple 2000 no mint mark quarter dollar really be worth $1.5 million? Let's uncover the mystery behind this rare find, its current market value, and what makes it so special. In 2000, quarters were minted in large numbers, primarily in Philadelphia and Denver, marked with P or D mint marks. But a rare few emerged with no mint mark, adding to their intrigue and appeal among collectors. While most 2000 quarters are only worth their face value, specific features can boost their worth significantly. Some collectors believe certain error coins or proof-like finishes with no mint mark could drive their value up, with extreme cases selling for six or even seven figures. Condition is critical. A 2000 quarter in uncirculated or proof-like condition with no mint mark could potentially reach high market values. Look for error features like doubling or misprints that could make it even rarer. Not all no mint mark quarters are worth millions. Genuine valuable coins often have distinct characteristics, including flawless condition, sharp details, and unique errors. Be on the lookout for these when examining your coins. Currently, most 2000 no mint mark quarters without specific errors or high quality strikes are worth only a few dollars. But unique examples can fetch much more, with rare cases rumored to reach up to $1.5 million. Always verify high value claims with professional grading.